Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian and African boxing and please if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. We are still on the matter, um, the loss, um, um, uh, um, we are still on the topic regarding Joshua's loss to Daniel Dana, Danamite Dubois. I say Daniel Dubois, um, is he a Danamite? Yes, he is, uh, but he still has a lot to prove. Um, so it re in regarding listen in regards to how joshua lost why he lost um i think in my opinion in my opinion okay let's let me keep it let me keep it real joshua lost that fight before he even stepped in the ring i will say this usually body language you know can be very tricky you know that already but immediately joshua walked out the ring walk out of joshua alone was not what i expected and he looked a little bit like disinterested not disinterested not the, the fight but he didn't i didn't see the the killer in his eye when he walked down the path you know and up against the ring what really surprised me the most was when the round one basically kicked you know ha like when round one kicked up kicked off um joshua defense was zero bro i know some people who are saying joshua needs to retire now i saw the comment of bread and hingo these guys have never stepped in in the ring i've never been pushed in the face and I believe you me that Brendan Hingo has never been in a street fight. He doesn't know what fighting is all about. He knows how to coach fighters. But it's a different thing if you know how to coach fighters compared to if you've really been there. You don't have a hotline to Joshua. And I don't think Brendan Hingo has ever done anything close to what Joshua has done. He's never had the, the hope of a nation, of two nations, I say two nations, Britain and Nigeria on his back. He's never had that. And he will never will. So let's keep it right here. It's easy to just say, oh, you should retire right now. You know, when you listen to this elder, sometimes you want to give them respect, but sometimes they talk out of out of their hats. Joshua got up four times. Look look at Joshua's face <clears throat> after the fight. Do you see any actual real damage here? Joshua was badly hurt in that first round due to a defensive error not not error because he had no defensive mechanism there was nothing there were listen all they worked on in the camp is basically offense offense no defense at all no Joshua just led his left uh, left left hand down he was fought, he, he fought like an amateur any coach will see that yes people are going to question joshua's uh, desire to continue in the sport joshua what kept joshua joshua going what kept joshua going um was the nigerian spirit in him because that first round most fighters would have been knocked out clean and cold believe you me joshua's basically he's he's his knee was totally gone in the first round like gone he twisted he twisted i wish i can really show the video right now but the zone we know how they behave there you know but he's he, he was twisted he had a twisted basically legs 
and I didn't expect Joshua to even continue. I listen. I thought round two was gonna be the end of the fight because Joshua, how Joshua, how Joshua kept fighting, I don't know. And also he got into the fight from round three. That is after being almost like almost destroyed. And then in round five, Joshua did something that is unthinkable. He hurt Daniel Dubois, landed that monstrous right hand. Dubois felt it. Dubois backed down, backed, backed up for once. For the first time in that fight, Joshua should have been very. Joshua wanted to throw an uppercut from a distance miles away, bro. That is not how Joshua fights. That is not how he is. That is not what he. Listen, he's wanted to say, okay, this guy, yeah. Um, he's not, he's not, he no longer has a, the heart, the, the, his, the, his heart on the sport and stuff. But there, are, there's a difference between that and making basically a huge mistake. Like you're literally fighting like an amateur, like someone that hasn't even stepped foot in the ring before. Joshua looked like an MMA fighter there before he even stepped in, and that was the reason it lost to Dubois. Thankfully, we have the rematch. Okay, and the rematch, I will still pick Joshua to win uh, for several reasons. I think the rematch, Josh, in the rematch, Joshua needs to get a defensive coach. Ben Davison can still be in his corner because I think Ben Davison offers there's something Ben Davison like offers Joshua, but he needs to get a def had a defensive coach because. The, the errors he made with these, these are errors these are errors that can, can easily be basically ironed out with with Derek James we also saw him very we also saw great defense there but no defense in, in this fight no defense at all at all so I think Joshua beat himself before Step in that ring. Kudos to Dubois. He did what needed to be done in that situation. When you catch a, a, a lion that has been injured, then you is is an injured lion is an easy prey. You know, a lion is injured. Oh, one of his legs is like is is is, is limping. If the lion is limping and one of his legs has been uh, has been shot or maybe pierced an arrow. Well, that's a little free meal because a lion, when it's injured, becomes vulnerable. Lions are strong when they are like they don't have any, 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 any effects, any side effects, you know. But when a lion is injured, you always or they or they become, but they can, they will still fight back, or they will be defeated at last. That was what happened to Joshua. Joshua is a lion. He was an injured lion. Facts. And I'm not saying he got the injury in, in, in training, an injured lion mentally, because the ring work and how he just lets his guard down, no head movement, the right hand that Dubois dropped Joshua with in the first round, you can see that right hand coming from far. Even Fury wouldn't get with him. Would, like I know Fury is elusive and stuff like that, but. Early in that fight, I don't think even Ungano would would take such a right hand, because he will always have it. even Ungano would have his his guards up, but Joshua didn't do that. So yeah, congrats to the boy. But I tell you right now, Joshua beat himself. You know, and uh, we'll talk about Joshua, the the boy star power. I want to realize that. I know a lot of the British. Uh, uh, Joshua uh, fan uh, haters are gonna be happy. Oh, they're happy. But I tell you right now, once Joshua retires from the sport, Fury retires from the sport. Who is gonna be? Who is going to be that name in the British uh, boxing scene that will take over everything? Like Joshua did. Joshua is the face of boxing, in my opinion. And the face of British, listen, he, 98,000 people were there to watch that fight. Joshua against the boy. Joshua was the challenger without a belt. 
every listen Dubois does not have that aura in him Dubois is not well spoken he's a little bit has some sort of autism he's too slow you know um is that is very is that despite being the Jew priest is that is a voodoo guy you know using uh, black magic and stuff like that but that is very outspoken but I don't know how he gave birth to a Dubois <clears throat> that is very dull you know so I don't see Dubois becoming this mega you star he's not going anywhere bro his next fight no he's not gonna be at Wembley Stadium if he's not against Joshua or Fury of against Fury for example there will be a big uh huge event you know against Usyk as well but Usyk is not a British fighter it might be a stadium but 98,000 is I'm not gonna show up bro unless it's against Fury because Fury um despite not being uh, uh the biggest star in the UK he does have some loyalists who still believe in him and I will watch a Fury Dubois fight but I'm watching because of Fury not because of Dubois because Dubois to me um I don't like the guy you know I never will you know because you know when you mock uh people's uh, uh disability you mock Jojo's mother for being blind and say I'm gonna sorry you won't be able to see your son when I knock him out because you're blind that to me show you the kind of person you are I don't care how old you are whether you're 20 at the age of 18 you should yeah, listen when we were growing when we were growing up in Nigeria at the, by the age of 12 13 we, we already learned manners there are things you don't cross there are things you don't say he said it even with a smile on his face and he ended up by finding it that win looks so great on Dubois resume right now I on um, Dubois resume and now that win over uh, the win over Dubois by Jojo is looks great now I know that the British fans would not would not give Jojo uh, Jojo is the, the is due credit, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Jojo remains the, the first guy to make the war quit. The war was a quitter, and we quit again in the future. It's just, it's just a matter of time. Dubois is in his peak right now. We'll see what happens in five years. We'll be here to witness it. Even before five years, we'll see. Because if he fights guys that he needs to fight, well, he's going to quit again. I'm telling you right now. One thing about Joshua is that he will never quit. He will always go out on the street. If you knock him down, he will get up and fight. Dubois doesn't have that dog in him. If he goes down, against credible opposition he quit facts 